penny. Yeah, FYI, the hot water is inadequate on machine two, so colors only. And four is still releasing the fabric softener too early in the cycle, so I'd avoid using that for your delicates. Thanks. <laughs> well, good lord. Why don't you just take your clothes down to the river and beat them with a rock? <laughs> you a question. I would prefer that you not, but I won't go so far as to forbid it. All right, I heard yes, so. Okay, here's my question. Has Leonard ever dated, you know, a regular girl? Well, I assume you're not referring to digestive regularity. Because <laughs> I've come to learn that such inquiries are inappropriate. No, I meant, has he ever been involved with someone who wasn't a brainiac? Oh, well, a few years ago, he did go out with a woman who had a PhD in French literature. How is that not a brainiac? Well, for one thing, she was French. <laughs> for another, it was literature. So, do you think that if Leonard and I keep dating, he'll eventually get bored with me? That depends. On what? Do you have a working knowledge of quantum physics? No. You speak Klingon? No. You know any card tricks? Okay. <laughs> I get it. Leonard has no business being involved with a waitress slash actress who felt so insecure that she lied to him about finishing community college. Why would you lie about that? Well, he was going on and on about this college and that grad school, and I, I didn't want him to think I was some kind of stupid loser. You thought the opposite of stupid loser was community college graduate? <laughs> you know, there are a lot of successful people in this country who are community college graduates. Yeah, but you were neither. Right. Okay, look, this is between you and me. You cannot tell Leonard any of this. You're asking me to keep a secret? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but you would have had to express that desire before revealing the secret so that I could choose whether or not I wanted to accept the covenant of secret keeping. <laughs> you can't impose a secret on an ex post facto basis. What? Secret keeping is a complicated endeavor. Uh, one has to be concerned not only about what one says, but about facial expressions, autonomic reflexes. When I try to deceive, I myself have more nervous tics than a Lyme disease research facility. <laughs> it's a joke. It relies on the homonymic relationship between tick, the blood-sucking arachnid, and tick, the involuntary muscular contraction. <laughs> I made it up myself. Okay, look, if Leonard finds out that I lied, I will absolutely die of embarrassment. Physiologically impossible. Oh, Sheldon, please! <laughs> look, I'm asking you as a friend. So you're saying that friendship contains within it an inherent obligation to maintain confidences? Well, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> One more question, and perhaps I should have led with this. When did we become friends? 